Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's talk about what we call the aromatic hydrocarbons. Well, the reason why they call them aromatic is because they have a very interesting aroma. Whenever you fill up your car with gasoline, you have that strong smell of gasoline, you recognize it right away. And I remember as a kid, I used to like the smell of paint thinner. Whenever my grandfather was working with paint thinner, I would come and smell and go, wow, this smells pretty interesting. And so we have these different kind of aromas with these different kind of hydro hydrocarbons. And that is typical for hydrocarbons that are built around the benzene ring. So we're going to show you some examples. Of course, we have the straight benzene ring like this, and that's a simplified um, way of of symbolizing it. And of course, we have the, CC, the C6H6 um, equation that we use for that particular molecule. Now, notice that when we replace one of, the one of the hydrogens with an OH, it becomes phenol, and that's the common name of that particular molecule. And of course, I'm missing something here. We still have the ring symbol inside because it is a ring structure. And so when we replace one of the hydrogens with an OH, then it becomes phenol, and that's something that we use for plastics. And notice the equations written, uh, the, the chemical equations written as C6H5 with an OH attached at the end. Then if we take the hydrogen and replace it with a methyl group, then it's called toluene. So we have OH, it's called phenol. We have the methyl group we call a toluene. Of course, the proper name would be methyl benzene, the methyl addition to the benzene ring. And there we write C6H5CH3. Now this has a lot of different uses. Notice it's a solvent and it's used for paint, paint thinner, silicon sealant, rubber, printing ink, glue, lacquer, you name it. It's a very, very ubiquitous uh, molecule that we use in a lot of different industrial practices. So that's again where the paint thinner came from and that's of course, I, I really like that smell as a kid. Not good to sniff it, not good to smell. It's not very healthy to get those uh, aromas into your lungs. But yeah, that's why they're called aromatic hydrocarbons because they have that very strong, very specific smell to them. And then if we, instead of having one metal group, we have two metal groups, now we call it xylene. So from toluene with a single metal group, now we have two metal groups, we call it xylene. So instead of calling it methyl benzene, since there's two of them, we call it dimethyl benzene. It's also a solvent and we use it for printing, for rubber, and for the production of leather to, to treat it in order to make it into a leather product. Notice we have the CH3, there's two of them, and that connected to a C6H4. So all of them have a C6, but notice that the more groups you attach instead of hydrogen, of course, the number of hydrogens will decrease. Even though there's more hydrogen on this particular molecule, notice that we write in such a way that you can see that these are the additions to the ring structure, and that's why we write it the way we do. You could, of course, write it as, uh, well, this would be a C8, uh, H10, but then it wouldn't give you any indication of what it looks like, so that's why it's written like this to give you uh, a way of identifying the structure of the molecule. So here's some examples of what we call hydro or aromatic hydrocarbons, and again, the reason why we call them aromatic, very strong smell, very peculiar. Each particular molecule has its own very unique smell, and that's why they're recognized as such. And there you are, that's, how we, that's what we call aromatic hydrocarbons. You were getting high. <laughs> I was, as a kid, um, You were getting high. I don't think I smelled it enough to get high. That, that's, that's what everybody says. <laughs> But uh, it did have an interesting, I like the smell. I was, I was attracted. I, I don't think I was getting high. You were getting high. <laughs> uh, well, I guess, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Denial. <laughs> Not just